and you see the bump so you want to put the little where we took the notch out you want to put right there and sit it right on that bump and pull the ear up fairly tight so everything you're going to do with the ear is firm but not very tight okay you're going to grab your longer piece of tape and you're going to put it in the exact location of the sticky side out tape. Now we're going to go sticky side down and we're going to wrap firmly but not too tight around the ear. Let, this, let the tape be tight on itself, not on the ear. Do not wrap the ear too tight or you're going to have owies within just a day or two. This piece is going to go around the tip. Make sure the tip is completely inside of a piece of tape. Also, always fold the ear back on itself, not open wide. So at the tip, we're going to do just a little folding, not much. This is all very loose up here. The tape is tight onto itself, but it's loose on the ear. Do not do anything tight on the tip of the ear because you will lose that tip. Okay, do the other one now. And if you run low on this glue, it is hard to get it out, so be sure you always have an extra bottle of glue with you. Put a heavy amount of glue onto the stay. Okay. Take the ear, you're holding it from the base so that you can put the notch right on top of the bump of the ear. Pull the ear straight up and line up the edge of the ear stay with the edge of the ear. Fold this top piece very gently over. Be sure to never bend your tip whenever you're folding. This is sticky side down now. At the very base of the ear, we're going to put the long piece of tape. Again, folding the ear back onto itself. It naturally wants to fold back. Make everything very tight. Again, not tight on the ear, tight onto itself. On the tip, we're going to go backwards. Be sure that you include all of the tip of the ear, but never ever fold the ear tip. Now we're going to make a bridge at the bottom. Sometimes it's necessary to make a bridge that has a piece of foam pipe inside of it. This puppy's ears are actually standing at the base now, so we're not going to put the foam pipe in. This sometimes takes an extra hand, but you want to start at the very base of the ear with the bridge including more ear than you included earlier. Pick it up a little higher. I'm going to just put this tape right onto itself. Remember this tape is extremely sticky so it will stick to itself just fine. Again, going around the back of the ear. It's okay if you go around a couple of times. It's not going to hurt to have extra tape at the base of the ear. In fact, the heavier the base is, the more it will hold the ears up. Again, all this tape sticks really well to itself, but I am going to put a piece of tape around the middle and pulling all that base down to make it, make sure that you don't include that in the taping. I'm going to use one more piece of tape to go around the center. You're going to want to buy at least you know, roll a box of uh, 12 rolls when you first get your puppy because you're going to go through it at least one roll, at least one package of skin bond. So I'm just going to put this in around the center, being sure not to tape, being sure everything's very clean and right where I left it. You see this piece of tape that's sticking out here? This is a lesson that you want to learn is to fold all that in. You don't want anything sticking out the bottom because that can irritate him and make him shake his ears. So now you have the finished product.
If you have puppies that are chewing on each other, you may want to cut these little pieces like this out. Make sure everything is cut together, taped together really well. If you don't, you'll get dirt inside those areas. And that's it.